right, class, welcome to our quick video over surface area, okay? So it's going to be surface area, the total surface area, and the lateral surface area of a rectangular prism, okay? So on my notes, I'm going to write, that's not bright enough, let me get a different marker. So surface area, okay? And the main, this is the main topic, but then we're also, we're really focusing on rectangular prisms, okay? All right, so here on our star chart, we're going to look here at surface area, right? And where it says prism, because it's a rectangular prism. These are the formulas that we're going to focus on today, okay? But I'm going to draw some pictures and I'm going to explain some stuff to you guys, okay? First, we're going to talk about lateral area, okay? Our lateral... Uh-oh, it needs to focus. What's going on? There we go. So lateral area, which is also known as LA, right? Okay, when we think about our lateral lateral area, it means lateral faces, no bases, okay? That kind of rhymes, lateral faces, no bases. So when we think about lateral surface area, we have a shape here, like a rectangular prism. We're going to think about what we would paint, right? Okay, so my shape, there we go. All right? If this was a classroom, it would be what we would paint, right? We don't paint the ceiling or the floor. We just paint all the walls, okay? Everything that goes around, okay? Like when we think about latitude in um, science or history whenever we're using a globe or a map lats like this is how I always remembered it lats are fat so it goes all the way around okay so the lateral surface area is all this shaded in this like light, light pink part okay it's the walls that we would paint and then on the back side it'd be that side right it's just not our our top or our bottom, our base. And what we notice about our bases is that they're both rectangulars or they're squares, okay? Depending on how the shape is drawn, okay? So our lateral surface area and how we would solve for that, we would use the formula, okay? P, big P, H, okay? Big P stands for perimeter, of base, okay? This big P stands for big perimeter of base. H is going to again stand for height, okay? So we're gonna find the perimeter of our base and then multiply it by our height. So our perimeter of our base would be these, right? And there would normally be some numbers involved, okay? And we would take that and we'd find out the perimeter which is like a fence, right? It's what goes around our house. We don't want to know what's in between. It's just the outside, right? And then we'd multiply it by our height, okay? That is how we find the lateral area, okay? Now, total surface area, total surface area, okay? I'm going to put it over here, total. area, okay, is all faces and bases, okay, so it's the whole shape, it's the top and the bottom, okay, so let me draw you a prism, 
Okay. Okay, can we see that? Okay. So if we wanted the whole surface area, this is going to be like, if we're wrapping a present, how much paper would it take to wrap the whole present, right? We wrap the top and the bottom and all the sides, okay? So here is the bases. All right, and then here's the other base. Okay, these are our bases, just like how they would look over here, but we're not including them. But here's our bases. And then we have all of our other, our faces, okay? Which are gonna be like what you think, like what you would paint, right? But we would include all of it, right? So we wanna know the area of all of it, okay? And in order to find that, we use this other formula. Let me find, get some space here. We use the formula, it's called SA, can we see, is equal to big P, H, O, what does that remind us of? O, that is the same formula that we use for lateral, okay? So big P, H, plus, two big B, okay? Because now we're adding our two bases, okay? So we know that the big P is still perimeter of base, right? That's what the big P is. The H is still the height, so we're gonna find the perimeter of the base, multiply it by the height, and then we're gonna add a big B is area of base, right? That's the same as what we've been learning. Area of base. So we find the area of this, of this. And because we have two bases, we're going to multiply it by two, okay? So it would be two times the big B, right? The area of base, which we know is this, all right? So this is just a quick video to kind of walk you guys through, give you a little idea and stuff to start thinking about, all right? We're going to go over more of this in, in class in more detail, okay? But make sure um, that you kind of have an idea of this and that you'll have your star chart out and that you've looked at the star chart and you're kind of, maybe you watch this video twice to help you. Um, but we will see you in class tomorrow. Look forward to learning about the surface area of a rectangular prism. Thank you, guys.